Hi, my name is Marion McNeely, and if you've been following my Instagram account for the last couple months, you know that I've been posting some really great um, historical photos from museums, and I focus um, on photos that show the clothing really well because historical fashion um, and fashion history and dress history are, um, I find them very fascinating. Um, however, the thing I um, came to realize is that it's very uh, easy to forget how small some of the original photographs really are. And so I thought I would show you today some of the historical antique um, photographs that I have in my personal collection. So you can actually see the actual size. They're very, very small in some cases. Um, and I think it gives you a better perspective on um, just the skill of the photographer in being able to um, create these uh, these images. Okay, so I thought I would start with the oldest <clears throat> photographs in my personal collection. Um, this is a small um, uh, bound photo album and it has um, it was a Lucia Granger's book. Um, she died October 5th, 1882. Um, so there are some photographs that are missing out of here. Um, this is a nice handsome gentleman and on the back it's got a stamp. The photographs I think between what like 60 and 64 had to have a, um, a tax stamp on them. So we know this is a pretty good date on when this was um, when these were done. Um, these ones are um, carte de visites, so they would look like this if they were out of the um, of the actual album. Um, these are on a card. This is a nice 1860s, 1860s, not 1960s. Um, and then this one is a ferrotype, so this is actually the back of the picture. And I say that <clears throat> because the front of the picture is very, very small. It's actually a little piece of iron that they have put the picture onto. Another carte de visite. This one is, oh, this one's actually coming out. But you can pull them out. So two, two very small ones. And they have, one has the tax stamp on the back and the other doesn't. <clears throat> this one was from J.G. Spooner's Picture Palace. Foots block corner of Main and State Street, Springfield, Massachusetts. Can you imagine going to the Picture Palace? This is another. This was another Pharaoh type, very very small. Try to show that to you in a better light. And this one looks a little bit later. There, um, but it also is another. Another, I don't know if it's a ferrotype or not, it's hard to tell. Um, it's not, uh, ferrotypes came in different sizes. It was a very, um, this is a later period one. This is probably from the 1870s. So it's a metal plate. They've put the picture on instead of paper. And it was especially common, um, I guess, in the uh, American West to have traveling photographers do this. This one's a little bit later. Um, I'd say this one is 1890s based on the sleeves and the hats. I'll try to get a good pic photograph of that one. The little girl moved her face in this picture, so she is not in clear view. But, um, Cardboard was definitely um, one of the preferred forms. It was certainly an easier, cheaper way of making photographs. And so they're very small. They're, um, they're, here's a, here's a uh, three by five card for a comparison. So you can see just how small they are. I think they're like two by four. Um, so they fit, did fit in, in pockets very nicely. Um, this is an 1860s one, and here are two um, some 1870s ladies, and an 1870s family. I don't know if it's a father and his daughters, or a grandfather and his granddaughters, but very charming young ladies. 
Here's one a little bit later. This is from Still Natural Formara, still late 1870s to early 1880s. Uh, no pictures, nothing. Um, it's by Kramer on 402 Kearney Street. This carte de visite size stayed very, very popular for a very long time. These ladies are um, early 1900s. Um, this is uh, from Nancy, so I'm guessing it's France. Yes, it's France. Um, so here we have 1870s and here we have 1900s. So 30 years later and they're still producing the same size. Um, another popular phototype, which came a little bit later, are these postcard photos. Um, these could be produced in a very short period of time. This is a portrait one, but this one is of a great, great aunt and her husband um, taken, which was actually sent as a postcard in 1908 from Bozeman, Montana. Dear, uh, dear, I will send you a card that we had taken and finished in 10 minutes so that you will know they are uh, something. Um, will we be home tomorrow night? Howard and all. Ava. This was sent to my great grandmother in 1908. Um, this was a, a photo, a postcard that she um, had made in Bozeman, Montana. I think during a train stop, he was a train conductor. Um, later, this there would be larger one, larger photo sizes. There are always larger photo sizes, depending on which one to pay. Um, but this one is actually um, a uh, a photo mounted on a piece of card from uh, a studio in Providence, Rhode Island. Nothing printed on the back, no fancy backing, but it is actually quite large. Here's one of the carte de visites, so you can see this, the difference in the size. So this one's probably a five by seven. Um, another popular style of photograph, not necessarily done for um, uh, studio prints, but for entertainment were these stereo views. So um, they're just slightly different and you, if you have the right viewer, you can view them um, and it will look almost 3, 3D. Um, and this is from 1895, which you can, you know, it's copyright 1895, but the sleeves are so 1895. Um, and she's reading a letter and the captain says, I just knew it would be a boy. And this was produced by Stockmer and Wyman Publishers of New York, New York. So um, these stereo views are great because usually they are copyrighted, so you get a really good um, dating on the clothes. Hope that uh, gives you some inspiration and some idea of the size of the pictures that I post online. Um, and hope you found that interesting.